I always use this analogy is that why do you spend so much money taking care of your car, like maintain it, like put tons of money, but use premium gas, but why do you not put like quality food into your own body? Vietnamese food is one of the most popular cuisines in Vancouver, often known for their hearty, comforting bowl of pho and a crispy, airy, light banh mi sandwich. And today I'm going to bring you behind the scenes to Banh Mi Tre Bon to visit a good friend of mine, Land, where we get to see her secret sauce in combining French and Vietnamese culture into a very unique dining experience. Let's go check it out. Bami Trebon is located in Richmond, an area just south of Vancouver, which is known for offering world-class Asian cuisine. They open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. and their main clientele are those looking for a unique cafe-style dining experience, as well as indulging in delicious Vietnamese food made with the best possible ingredients. Hello, Lan. Thank you so much for having us here today. Um, super honored to be here because I'm actually a regular ever since you opened your shop. This place is just super unique, not like any typical Vietnamese restaurant. So please tell me more about what's the concept. The concept is pretty much really home style Vietnamese cuisine, but a lot of uh, the food like the bread is also from France, which came to Vietnam and gave us that influence. So I wanted to bring that to our community here in Richmond and of course all over the Low Mainland. Right, and it's super well received and that's why you guys have been super busy and like line up out the doors every single day ever since you guys are open. So which is like, that concept works. And like when I look at your menu, it's something that is truly inspiring because you're one of the top ones, first ones to do like organic, um, local, and also just super good food that you'd feed your family. And that's why me and my family always comes here. I'd feed my one year old from you as well. So tell me more about that. It basically comes down to how I grew up. Mm -hmm. uh, my family, my parents is super uh, cooks and they love cooking nutritious food and that's probably where I get my inspiration from yeah. and they always bring in good quality ingredients. I, they, of course, they never feed their children anything less than, than the best. Yes, so yes, yes. just the influence on my parents. What we put in our body is so important. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I wanted to introduce to the public and of course our patrons and our customers. Um, to advocate people, putting good food in your body is a priority. It should nice. be done within everybody, I mean, in the family, just like you, mm -hmm. that you bring your, your family here. Yeah. So, Can we get to see some of the behind the scenes? Absolutely. All right, Come let's go check it out. Now, when it comes to the menu, Bami Trebon offers a combination of traditional flavors with fine dining flair. Land spares no expense using the best and healthiest ingredients possible, striving to serve nutritious Vietnamese food that she is proud of. So whether you're eating a banh mi made with custom hand-rolled bread or a pho made with triple-A grass-fed beef, you know you're eating food that's not only delicious, but healthy for you as well. So this is our station for the condiments for our pho. Mm -hmm. um, basically a little bit of everything, the bean sprout, the basil, lime, all the essentials to go on a bowl of pho. And this is our salad station. Yeah. Uh, it has basically all the main ingredients of our salad and then of course some ingredients for our veggie pho and our spring rolls. So this is where we do our spring our wrap, our salad rolls. Mm. Um, everything is so neat and tidy. It has to be efficient. Mm, so efficient, when right. It comes when we have a lot of orders. Yeah. All cooks and a chef needs to know exactly where to go. Mm -hmm. So, and of course, we replenish as as it gets done. So, this is where, of course, our oh our babies. Yes. <laughs> this is our pho broth, which we cook with uh, two, three different types of bones. We simmer it for about. 12 to 15 hours daily. This is where all the flavor is coming from. It's our spice bag. Oh, that's so cool. So what's in it is, is star anise, or some cilantro seed, uh, cinnamon, yeah. uh, cardamom pods. And then the other bag is basically all the good stuff, all the healthy onions, ginger, shallots. And that's where all the flavors are coming from. Wow, and that's why you need to like, why like 12 hours to extract all the flavor from Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah, so that's where we get 
the deep, and then we take them all out. Yeah. When, and then, of course, we flavor them with a little bit of salt, fish sauce, uh, some rock sugar. So That's all really the cool. flavors is from the bones. This is what we, I grew up with. This is my fam, my mom and dad cooks real ingredients in terms of getting the flavor from the actual ingredient itself mm -hmm. instead of taking shortcuts. Because what they're feeding their children, what I'm feeding my family and my children here is very important to me. And that's what I want to bring to our patrons and our customers. It's about just home style food. Home style food. Are, are we up next is the banh mi. Your, yeah. That's really famous too. Our banh mi is actually the creation that I'm super proud of. Please show me. Welcome to our banh mi station. Um, the bread is, I consider it my baby. It took me about five years to cultivate five the recipe years. to make sure that I get the, the bread that I grew up eating mm -hmm. when I was in Vietnam growing up. I just wanted to create something that for the next generation to understand what the first banh mi that, that came to Vietnam was. So this is pretty close, so I hope... Oh, you know, please, show us, show us. Uh, so Alex will show you how to make it. So how many do you guys go through a day on these guys? Hundreds. Hundreds of banh mi. Yeah, it, it, we go through a lot depending on the day, especially weekends. It's never ending. Never ending. Yeah, they get like this big bar is like hundreds of bamis. Wow. <laughs> Just destroying this. That's okay. Just destroying it, doesn't look nice. And then you put it on the plate. Right, like this. There you Beautiful. go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good job. Oh, I'm hired. <laughs> Absolutely. Anytime. When you walk into Bami Trebon, the first thing you'll notice is the French Vietnamese fusion decor. These added features really help to give the restaurant a wonderful cafe vibe that draws in people looking for a special dining experience. Through talking with Lan, it's clear that she knows what she wanted her restaurant to be and isn't distracted at all with what other people are doing in the industry. And with a total investment in the range of $600,000, it's clear that she isn't afraid to go all in to bring her dreams into fruition. My beautiful creation, thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to create this. Does this pass? This is good? Not good for first try. <laughs> I know I have very crumbled up. I really have very high standards when it comes to my bummy. Good first attempt. Thank you, thank you. Um, so tell me, tell me more. I know this is like ten years in the making, and prior to this, you have no restaurant experience whatsoever. True. Um, I mean, it's always a love of cooking that mm. I never really get a chance to dive in. Mm. So while working in the corporate world, um, I take a lot of notes and doing a lot of research and development in terms of what I'm going to do, what, what can I do. It wasn't really this to begin with. It was mm. always about something. What can I do to really bring back the, um, the home style Vietnamese food that I've always known? And you took this really seriously that you went back to Ho Chi Minh to learn from the bus to bring the, these recipes back to Vancouver? Um, yes, because like you said, I have no zero culinary experience, but I know my food. I know exactly what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I know what I want to bring to market. So I was lucky to, to work with four of the top chefs in Vietnam to make this a reality. So you shared with me a little bit more about your, your focus on good ingredients and in relation to the cost of goods sold, it's much higher than compared to other places. Like your bami is like 10 bucks. Whereas like outside, and I know you don't keep track of other people, but they're like six dollars. Mm -hmm. But now I understand that, like the ingredients, right? There's actually, when I entered the industry, I've learned so much in terms of, there's grades in food. There's mm. grades in everything. So yeah. in produce, meat, um, so produce, they have grade A, which is premium, like A, they list it A, B, C. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. A meaning the top. And then same with meat. So they yeah. have like, if you go to Costco, you see like triple A. Mm. And sometimes there's, there's like uh, Wagyu or triple A, double A, and the single A. And then there's much, call it utility. So that's like the lowest cut yeah. of the beef. So we buy at the top. 
mm. and everything that we bring in, all ingredients. So yeah. we buy the, the, the gray, the top gray. Um, our tenderloin is grass-fed, mm -hmm. so it's harder to get because there's only two pieces of tenderloin in a cow. And if we use grass-fed, that's even, even harder to source. So mm -hmm. that was our biggest challenge was trying to, no matter how much they increase it, we have to bring it in because we have to maintain that. Right. Standard. So your yeah. cost is like much higher than industry standards? It's much, much higher. But again, at the end of the day, for me, it's about, it's about the food choices that yeah. we, we put out. You should invest a little bit more money into your body. Mm. Like, I always use this analogy is that why do you spend so much money taking care of your car, like maintain mm. it, like put tons of money, but use premium gas, but why do you not put food like quality food, food into your own body mm. so like were you ever afraid that if you charge ten dollars of me that people would not come like because that would be what i'm afraid of um, it's like for me day one yeah. that's what i wanted to do is that i um i've done a lot of research it's the market that we're the niche that we are looking for um. so if people are looking for good quality that's what we want um. to target that's really what makes you stand out it's not about standing out or not, Wilson. It's me just really introducing really good, good food, basically yes. good quality home style food to whoever wants our food. So yes, we may be a little bit more expensive, but um, I hope that our customer appreciate what we put into our, our dishes. You know what I really love about what you just said is that you're not really creating something for like tackling a, a fad or like, hey, you know what, I want to be better than you. You're so focused on yourself and you're so focused on just staying on your own lane. That's exactly what makes you special. And that, that's what makes you successful is because you're like, this is my vision, my focus, and people that appreciate that and respect that would come. And that's exactly what happened. I think like your passion actually overspills as well as, as you treat all your staff like your own kids. You're like the big mama. Because every time I come in, like all your staff, they're so young, and yet they're like the manager of this, their house of, you, basically you, you train them from the ground up. Everyone comes in with no experience, and you give them opportunity, you train them well, and in turn, your guest feels that. Is that part of what you always wanted to do? It's not what I always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a part of me, because I feel my staff is my number one asset. So when I first started out in working, um, I had good mentors, so yeah. I think I'm giving it back to, I think young people need a chance. No matter how you are, where you grew, uh, how, where you're educated, everybody needs a first chance. Mm. So I'll bring in anybody who wants to work and wants to learn. They can be, have no experience, they can be as green as they can, I'll train them. Mm. So as long as they have that good work ethic, it's about their character and their integrity, is that, that, that's what I hire. I base my hiring based on that, right. not experience. Yes, having experience, great, but no experience, even better, because I can train wow. them from day one. So, what are some of the big plans for Femi Trayvon? Well, I mean, we're, we're just expanded the space eight months ago from where we started. Mm -hmm. So, um, considering, I'm really happy with where we are right now. Uh, expanding is in the picture, but we just don't know when. Right. Uh, I love to grow my team and give my team an opportunity to grow with us uh, wherever we're going to go. Um, expansion is in the works. Again, we don't know when with what's happening in the world right yeah. now. It's very difficult, um, but we're always looking for growth. We're yes. always looking to improve. We're always looking to be able to offer our customer or the community uh, a chance to taste our food, whether if we have one location, two location, or three location. Um, it's it's something that I'm looking forward to. Um, I, I Something that I, I do want to share is that you have such a great foundation for a business because I remember you were telling me that you turned down multiple franchise requests like because you want to make sure that the heart and soul of Bami Trebon is there and that you don't want to dilute that and this, you told me this, what, a year ago? Something along the lines of that. And yet you're, you're just so like, you know what, I gotta do it right, I gotta do it right. So that's also something that I'm like, wow. We're not in a hurry to grow. Mm -hmm. I think we need to focus on what we built here, the, yeah. founda the foundation that we've set. Mm -hmm. And we need to be able to continue to 
put out what we have envisioned from day one. So mm. we need to continue that consistency and that quality and the standard that we set. We have high standards. And if we can't continue with that, yeah. how can we open another one? Exactly. So if we can continue that and just excel and continue to grow, and if the next location happens to be in the picture, we'll work through that. We just have to continue and move forward and be innovative. And that's, I think, that's the word that that I really instill in my staff is that we gotta really be a leader in terms of innovating what we do here and not mm -hmm. focus on what everybody else does. Do what you can do. Do what you can do best and then just focus on our initial vision. Thank you. Thank you for that last lesson for us. I am super honored to be here and meet you, Chuck. I'm honored to be interviewed and sitting here and talking <laughs> to you. Thank you. Let's do a, a fist bump. Yeah. So there you go, the secret sauce behind Van Nitre Bond's smashing success. Land's philosophy is simple. Cook good food that you would feed your family and treat your employees like your family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Secret Sauce.